are with Resisting Happiness. We are going to go through chapters 7 through 12, Julie and I. So chapter 7 was the big question. Are you spiritually healthy? And what are you doing to become spiritually healthy? And the author had talked about um, taking the time every morning mm -hmm. to pray first. And we were just mm -hmm. talking about that mm -hmm. as well. What are, mm -hmm. what are some ways they can at home mm -hmm. pray first? I think if, you know, making it a priority to just, whether it's getting up a few extra minutes, I know that when I start my day with prayer, it is just, it does so many wonderful things for me. It gets my day started on the right track. And there's this new 1% challenge that I know we're doing at St. Matthew's, but it's a great way to uh, read different selected scripture readings from the Bible, and it gets you reflecting and really trying to listen to what the Lord is trying to tell us through these passages. So right. that's been great for me. And it too. breaks it down on mm -hmm. what to yes. say within mm -hmm. those 15 minutes because 1% mm -hmm. of our life is, 1% of our day, day is only 15 minutes. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and it talks about how when you, when you start, and a lot of people nowadays are starting with yoga or meditation in the mm -hmm. morning, mm -hmm. when you start with prayer and asking God first, mm -hmm. and that leads us into chapter eight, the four words of thy will be done. Mm -hmm. When you start your day with prayer, asking God, mm -hmm. What should I focus on first? Mm -hmm. What can I better, how can I better serve you? And mm -hmm. what should I do first in my day? We are so bogged down mm -hmm. with craziness mm -hmm. that asking the Lord first thing in the morning, mm -hmm. and it's just taking 10 to 15 mm -hmm. minutes mm -hmm. in the morning of your day to do this. And the book talks about how much easier it is mm -hmm. and how it lays out your day mm -hmm. and you make better decisions. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Versus not I agree. Starting. It just gets your mind on the right track, mm -hmm. on a very healthy track. And it, when you have decisions that you have to make throughout the day, you find yourself reflecting on whatever was spoke, whatever spoke to you earlier through yes. prayer and through passage. So I think it's a great way to just connect first thing of the day, and it, it works throughout the day for you. He says, "Don't be lukewarm." The lukewarm. Um tend to choose convenience and comfort over what is right and just. You may be able to relate it by lukewarm is just going to church on Sundays. Mm -hmm. But don't be lukewarm. Really, really mm -hmm. dig in and pray for other people throughout mm -hmm. the day. Pray, and we've talked about this in videos prior, pray mm -hmm. for what you're mm -hmm. grateful mm -hmm. for. And I think sometimes, too, just sitting back and trying to just sit in silence and listening to what God is trying to, what message is he trying to tell you as well is so powerful. Sometimes we we find ourselves, and it's so important to pray with gratitude and, yep. and ask uh, God for help in whatever way we need it, but to just sometimes sit back and try and just listen to his word and his messages is really an amazing, powerful way to reflect and meditate too and hear his word. And for some people that's new, what do you mm -hmm. mean listen to the Lord? What do you mean mm -hmm. you have a conversation with them? Mm -hmm. um, Learn to be comfortable with yourself. Mm -hmm. Learn to, that mm -hmm. quiet time is okay mm -hmm. and that alone time is okay. Because mm -hmm. uh, a girlfriend of mine was just saying she went for a walk, went mm -hmm. for an hour walk, and the Lord just helped her clear yes. a lot mm -hmm. just having that quiet time mm -hmm. alone. So, mm -hmm. they will be done. Just thy use those. They will be done. Amen. And we're going to start this video with that song, too. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle, for that. Yes, that's a beautiful. For that lead. Um, so, we talked about in chapter nine was Are You Spiritually Healthy? And like we we're saying, when you go deeper into prayer, God will help you to answer four questions. And this is on page 46. And for those that don't have the book, the four questions are, who am I? What am I here for? What matters most? And what matters least in your life? Mm -hmm. Which, those are such great reflections. That's huge. Yeah, isn't it? I mean, it really is awesome. I think it just helps clarify a lot of things. Those four there's, questions. Yeah, like there's no, he says there's no middle ground. Mm -hmm. It's either important or it's not. Mm -hmm. And when they talk about um, chapters 11 and 12, ordinary things and living um, soulfully, mm -hmm. they talked about how last the people in nursing homes reflected on their life and what mm -hmm. they wish they would have done more of. Mm -hmm. And that was, this chapter is mm -hmm. really powerful for me. Mm -hmm. And he also spoke of people that are given the life sentence mm -hmm. that gives this, this amount of time mm -hmm. to live. Mm -hmm. He says it's almost a luxury. Mm -hmm. And I want you to take that to heart, meaning you do you have the chance to say your goodbyes mm -hmm. and you have a chance to really live mm -hmm. and do what's important it's mm -hmm. either it is either is mm -hmm. or it's not mm -hmm. you're either mm -hmm. going to do something to serve him and mm -hmm. your question should always be 
when you're thinking about anything, did I live my day today that would get me to heaven? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Absolutely. I think if we are to, I think the two questions they say to get to heaven are, um, how well did I get to know Jesus? Yes. And did I use my God-given talents? Um, did in you use your gifts? And yeah. And my gifts to help others, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And we reflect. One one person, one pastor said, everybody's saying, what's my purpose? I don't mm -hmm. know what my purpose is. Mm -hmm. He says, build your relationship with God mm -hmm. and you'll learn mm -hmm. your purpose. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how do you build your relationship with God? You live so fully. Mm -hmm. You know, we always say, mm -hmm. like we said in the beginning, are you spiritually healthy? You're looking at how healthy your heart is, mm -hmm. how healthy your body mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. How about your mind and your heart mm -hmm. with the Lord? Yeah, they say um, spiritually, intellectually, emotionally, and physically are the four categories um, on being the best versions of ourselves mm -hmm. and looking not just at one, but at all of them. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You got it, sister. So he talks about, you know, three times you were fully aware of God in your day. Mm -hmm. Write that down. Just, just be aware of God. Start your day with the Lord. Ask him how to guide you and direct you. And um, when you reflect at night, how did you live to please so until then, we will be joining our next six chapters in the next video. But Julie and I enjoyed this chat once again, and we look forward to seeing you all later.